Let's start solving question two in this video. So we have a firm that employs two workers that's gonna work for two periods. Now in the first period, both of them earn a salary W. In the second period, there can be a promotion and the wage increases by that promotion. So W plus Z. Uh, okay, now there is a probability to get that promotion and it depends on the effort and on the luck. This is the probability function. Let's just interpret it real quick right away. So one over two, that would be the 50-50% probability based on pure luck. This pi is showing us the dependence of getting the bonus on the effort because we see that pi is showing by how much the effort of the first guy is exceeding the effort of the second guy. So in other words, the dependence of getting the bonus based on your own effort, meaning that both luck and effort matter. Okay, we have the cost of effort given by this term over here. In part A, we want to determine the level of effort that each worker will put in period one. We have the data over here. Now again, we did this um, several, uh, several sessions ago, or last session even, when we have to choose optimal effort level, we know that the worker decides for himself what effort he is putting, meaning that he must take into account his own utility and maximize that. Because we work with probabilities, we work with uncertainty, meaning we work with expected utilities. So let's see what's going to be the expected utility, and then we will maximize it with respect to effort. Let's go over here below. Let's go over here below and write that. So the expected utility of one guy, because the utility function is gonna be symmetrical. So what we find for the uh, you know, first person is equivalent to what we would find for the second person. Now, the expected utility of one guy, right? It would be equal to, we get benefit from the wage, so we would have the wage in the first period, that's just W plus, we would have a bonus in the second period, and the probability of getting that bonus is equal to P, right? This is the probability of getting that bonus, so we will start working with this probability. Meaning, we will have W plus the probability of getting the bonus, and our salary would be W plus Z. Let me just write the highlight over here. That is, that is the probability of getting bonus, probability of getting the bonus, and the remaining probability, which is one minus P, right? The probability must complement to one. The probability of one minus P, the worker would not get the bonus, he would get just the basic salary again. One minus P times the wage would be the probability of not getting the bonus. So this is the probability of no bonus. Now, this is, this is what's happening in the second period, right? In the second period, we're dealing with this uncertainty. So we're taking it all together like that. What else matters? It matters that we have to work. So we have a cost of effort and that's one over two theta E squared, this one over here. So minus, minus one over two theta E of the first worker to the power of two. Okay, let's open the brackets to see what we get because now it's a matter of math over here. So the expected utility would be equal to the wage. So we write the wage. Over here we write the wage plus, let's open the brackets here, here to see what we get in this bracket. Um, so in this term, P times W. So we have P times W plus P times Z plus P times Z. Over here we open the brackets as well and we get one times W, which is W minus P times W minus P times W. Close that and we also have the cost of effort. So minus one over two. 1 over 2 theta e i to the power of 2. Okay, let's go over here below. What can we see? We can cancel, cancel out some terms. Uh, P, what was it? P w minus P w. They go away and we're left with P times z plus w. Now, w from here and w from here. That's going to be 2 times w. So let's group that together. We have now the expected utility of the first guy would be equal to 2 times w. Let me change colors for that. Plus the probability of getting the bonus times the bonus. And for the probability, we can open the uh, actual expression now because that expression depends on the effort. And remember, we're looking for that effort level. So we will rewrite this probability function as it is, 0 0.5 plus all that. So let's write it. It's going to be 0 0.5. It's going to be over here, uh, zero, I put it like that, 0 0.5 plus pi times the difference between the effort levels close the brackets, times the bonus. So times Z minus the cost of effort, minus one over two, one over two theta E to the power of two. Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for the optimal effort level. And we saw that to find out the optimal effort level, we must differentiate the expected utility function with respect to that effort level. Because again, 
check the graph over here, we have the effort to the power of two, meaning we have a quadratic function with a negative, with a negative coefficient in front of it, meaning we have a parabola that's looking like that. So we will have a maximum expected utility on the peak of that graph where the derivative with respect to the effort level equals to zero. In other words, we're going to differentiate the expected utility of the first guy with respect to his effort level, make that equal to zero. So now it's just a matter of math. Uh, 2w, that's a constant that has nothing to do to the effort. Derivative with respect to effort is just going to be zero plus uh, 0 0.5 derivative, 0 0.5 times z derivative. That's again a constant, nothing to do with the effort level. That's just zero. In this term over here, so let me use a different color for that. This is too dark, something lighter, yes. So in this term over here, we are having the effort of the first guy. When we differentiate this entire expression with respect to the effort, what are we left with? Well, we have some constants. We multiply it with pi and we multiply it with z, meaning that the derivative is going to be left with pi times z. Now, in the second uh, variable over here, it's effort of the second guy. We have nothing to do with the effort of the second guy here. So the derivative of that is going to be just zero. And then we have to differentiate. Then we have to differentiate this thing. 1 over 2 e to the power of 2. So we differentiate with respect to the effort level. Let's keep the constants first, which is minus 1 over 2 theta. And the derivative of e to the power of 2, that's just 2 times e, equals to 0. Let's work out the math over here real quick. 2 and 2 go away, right? This and this go away. Uh, we have p times z. p times z equals 2. We're taking this term on the other side. So theta times e goes on the other side. Now let's leave e on one side only because that's what we're looking for. The optimal effort level of the first guy is going to be p times z divided by theta. Now, quick interpretation of this. Just understand the highlight and the intuition of all of that. What is pi? That is the dependence of work. If the dependence on your work increases to get the bonus, the effort level also goes up. Hope this makes sense, meaning that it's worth to put in more effort because you have a higher chance of getting the, that bonus. That's the, that's the intuition. If the bonus itself goes up, that's also incentive to work more. That's why the effort level will go up as well. And on the other side, if theta, which is the cost of effort, right, a term that deals with the cost of effort goes up, well, it becomes harder to put in the effort, so the effort level would decrease. Hope this all makes sense. In the next video, we go to part B.